ladies and gentlemen, Thrill Seeks of All Ages, Coaster Chow here, Doncaster born, but built for theme parks, and welcome to a theme park newsroom update. This is a very sad theme park newsroom update, as California's Great America is set to close in the next, within the next 11 years. Now, before we get started, make sure you do like, comment, subscribe, click the notification bell to name this YouTube video, go in the description, follow all the links, submit your video ideas with the Google Forms link in the description as well. And for now, guys, let's share everything you need to know on this story so far. So, C. Defer LP, a leader in regional amusement parks, water parks, and immersive entertainment, announced it has sold the land at its California's Great America amusement park and plans to close the park. They elected to sell the land to Prologis. Uh, Prologis Incorporated, uh, a Bay Area based logistics real estate company, for approximately $310 million with a lease agreement. The company will continue to operate the park for a period of up to 11 years and then will close the existing park operations at the end of the lease term. The land sale which was marketed by CBRE, was the outcome of a strategic review initiated by Cedar Fair in 2021 to explore potential avenues to maximise the value of Cedar Fair. Um, uh, well, Cedar Fair, the company's extensive asset portfolio. Now, Cedar Fair purchased the land at California's Great America in 2019 from the city of Santa Clara after the state of California dissolved redevelopment agencies, requiring the city to cede its ownership of the property to pay off existing debt. Prior to that transaction, the company leased the land from the city of more than 40 years. Cedar Fair intends to use proceeds from the land sale transaction to accelerate progress on its strategic priorities of reducing debt to achieve its $2 billion target, investing in high return projects within its portfolio, such as um, upgrading resort properties and reinstating a sustainable unit holder distribution. Based on the strength and pace of the recovery since reopening its parks in 2021 and due to the additional capital raised through the Great America transaction, Cedar Fair expects to reinstate quarterly unit holder distributions by the third quarter of 2022, subject to review and approval by the Cedar Fair Board of Directors. Now, the Cedar Fair President and CEO Richard A. Zimmerman said, we chose Prologis as our partner because of their deep ties in the Bay Area and their reputation for working closely with local communities on large developments. For our investors, the sale and lease agreements allows us to monetize a high value asset in the heart of Silicon Valley at a very attractive multiple. The transaction also provides us with a substantial sum of incremental capital, which we intend to use to further advance our strategic priorities and generate enhanced returns for our unit holders. So that is everything revealed about the closure. Now I'm going to share my thoughts on the closure of California's Great America and also the next steps of the park and its rides and the land it sits on. There we are, ladies and gentlemen, thrill seeks of all ages. That is everything we need to know so far. Now, obviously there's a lot of questions surrounding this development. You know, what's going to happen to the rides? What's going to happen to the land? What's going to happen to the park? What's going to happen on the site once this closes? Who's going to buy the land? There's still a lot of questions to answer. This section of the episode is throwing out possibilities. So none of these may come true, but it's just possibilities. Now, first of all, let's start with the land itself. What could happen to the land? Obviously, the big thing is housing. That's the big thing that could happen to the land. Housing development bring some new homes to that area of, of, the, of the state and, you know, that kind of thing. And, you know, it, it's a possibility. Like I said, it's a possibility. In terms of the park, what they could do, Cedar Fair, if they wanted to, I'm not saying this will happen, but if they wanted to, find a new area of California, maybe not too far away from the old park, but if you could, somewhere in California that's closest to that old site uh, with plenty of expansion room, because obviously, the, I think one of the big factors for me, that the reason why they're doing this, is also the failed expansions. Because we've also we've always talked about these massive expansion plans. I think we did a video only a few months ago about rumours of a 2023, 2024 Mac launch coaster for California's Great America. I might have got that wrong, but I swear we did a video about a new coaster in 2023 or 2024 months ago. So expansions could be a big thing. Maybe they want to relocate. That maybe the plan is to relocate the park somewhere else in California and have that expansion room ready to 
keep growing the park in a different location and maybe start the park again. Um, it could be something like that that they may reveal down the line. In terms of the rides, I think many of the rides will get sold to other uh, Cedar Fair parks. I think some people in the uh, coaster industry have been sort of taking the mic and sort of saying about Michigan's adventure, rubbing their hands together and thinking, there's some good rides we can get. Um, but uh, no, I think it's not just Michigan's adventure. There's a lot of parks that could get some of the rides from uh, California's Great America if they're not going to plan on relocating the park. Uh, and even not even just Cedar Fair parks, you know, could you imagine a park in Europe or the UK buying Railblazer? Now, I don't know what price that California's Great America has set that ride at. I would think over the next 11 years, or however long they're running the park before someone buys, before they officially uh, get the land, um, I would suggest that maybe they'll start selling the rides off one by one so the park gradually gets smaller and smaller but to an extent where they can still sell it for a massive property for a massive price so i would start to see rides and operations start stripping back over the next few years that'd be my guess anyway in terms of selling rides like i said i'd like to see railblazer maybe come to the uk go to europe go to another independent park in the states um i think it, it could work at a few places i mean if flamingo i want a new coaster after this new one opens on saturday which by the way Special announcement coming, um, there'll be an announcement video coming, in fact no, I'll announce it at the end of the video, but you can probably guess what it is by now. But um, but yeah, California's Great America in terms of selling rides, Rail Blaze, I could see maybe coming to the UK, from England if you need a new coaster in the next few years, that could be an option. <laughs> um, a couple of the family coasters could get sold, you never know. Uh, the other thrill coasters, some of them could go to places, some of them could get it sent for parts for other rides. Some of them just could get scrapped instantly if they're not operational anymore, or if they're getting to a point where they're going to be on, going to be beyond operational. Uh, so it wouldn't be worth selling it to another part to operate because it'd be a waste of money. It, it all depends on the cycles of these rides and the right and the life cycles of these attractions. So uh, we'll see with that. Like I said, in terms of the land, like I said, it could be housing, they could build on that side. In terms of the park itself, they could either relocate it or just demolish it and that won't be a Cedar Fair park anymore. <clears throat> Excuse me. And it could in fact be a, a theme park in general, not anymore. Um, I, I think it could be very, very sad if we lose this park. Like I said, I know they've had a lot of trouble with expansions over the years and stuff like that, but, you know, California's Great America is still a historic theme park and, um, you know... I mean, if Cedar Fairs think is going to sell the park, I think another option that could happen, and you know, correct me if you think I'm wrong about this, but I think another thing they could do is someone actually, another company, go in and buy the park or buy or rebuy the land from the prologus from the prologus company and buy the park, and they become the new operators of the park. They could pretty much keep the name, but just rebrand it into their park invest in the attraction that they want uh, and that could be an option that that would be a surprising new turn if a new company if a, if a company from outside of Cedar Fair came in and bought the park bought the land bought everything to do with the park and the park could continue to operate where it is that, that could be an option it, it, there must be a reason Cedar Fair selling the park it could be, and, and try to close it and sell it to a property development there's got to be a reason for it it's either um, failure to expand, it could be operational costs, it could be everyday day-to-day uh, -day costs um, for operations and running the park, it could be, uh, like we were saying in the article, uh, Cedar Fair debts, could be the, that, that could be the reason to help pay off some of the debts and use the money to, as it said, pay off the debts. So there's millions of reasons why it could be and why it can't be, but like I said, I've thrown a few possibilities out there. Will it become a house in development? Will they just relocate the park to another location in California? Will another per, uh, company come in and buy the park and buy the land and operate it as their park? Uh, where will the rides go? UK, Europe, America, Asia, Australia, anywhere around the world. There's still a lot of questions to be answered. Comment down below what you're thinking, guys. Where do you think these rides are going to go? Where do you think they're going to sail off to or just go down the road to? Um... But it's sad, you know, if there's no one coming in to buy the park and it is going to completely get demolished in the next 11 years and all the rides are going to be sold off elsewhere, 
I do want to travel out there to America and get that visit into California's Great America before it closes. Maybe on its last year. Maybe you'll see a vlog in 11 years' time on this channel where I will be at California's Great America for the final day of operation. You never know. 11 years is a long, 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 long time, so just make the most of it while you can. So, uh, But I wouldn't expect much new attractions at California's Great America. Um... Now, over the next 11 years, I wouldn't see much new attractions at California's Great America because it, just, it would just be a waste of money. So, uh, I, I mean, you could see maybe one, but maybe if it was, like, in a couple of years' time and, you know, you get, like, seven, eight years' worth of life cycle on it, maybe. Um, but that's just me guessing at this point. I, I, I don't really think we're going to see much new attractions at California's Great America now. I think the current one's just going to get sold off. Uh, or scrapped or wherever. So uh, that is it for this video, guys. Like I said, post down your memories of California's Great America as well. This is the actual end of California's Great America and all the rides are being sold off and the site's going to be demolished for whatever. What's your memories of California's Great America? Were you, if you're watching this video and you were there on the opening day of California's Great America, way back when it first opened, comment down below. I'd love to see all your memories. I want to do a video where I can look back in 11 years time as to maybe this was the day that California's Great America came to an end. And I want to do a video where I'll look back on all your comments on this video, on future videos about California's Great America. I want to use every video now about California's Great America until there's an announcement about the actual future of it. I want to see, you know, I want to see your memories in the comments section. I want to see every single person post your memories in the comments section about that park, the rides, opening days, everything. Funny moments. Emotional moments, great moments, happy moments. Get it all in the comments down below and let's get that timeline of memories going because I want to keep the memories alive. Even though I've never experienced this park, I want to be the one to help keep the memories alive. So post your memories in the comments down below. I have been Coach Shell. Keep living the coast alive and I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have a California's Great America tastic day. If this is the end, Rest in peace. And it's a very it's a very badly shaped heart, but rest in peace, California's Great America.